All right, now you can go. Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time and we take junk that we get for free on the side of the road or just garbage, literally, and we turn it into home decor that we sell or keep. This is the good junk on the side of the road today. Yeah, perfectly, like this was in perfect condition. We did a little bit of um, construction to it and I'll let Zeb go over what he did and what it was before and I'm gonna find a before picture for you. We had to do a little bit before the live because we couldn't be using saws and bondo on it a live. It was about video. an hour of work. Yeah. Um, if you like these kinds of videos, though, make sure you share this out and give us a thumbs up and subscribe. That helps us out a ton. I think we actually have a video of us taking an old vanity. This is a waterfall vanity. And the waterfall, at least in our area, the waterfall dressers, vanities, furniture is not very popular. It doesn't sell well even when we paint it. But two matching nightstands is going to sell really easy so all i did you can see where the center drawer was and the the portion where the chair goes underneath that was all right here there were two holes i bonded them on each side and then on the back there was a gap right here where the mirror went and i just took a piece of wood traced around the outside here and fit it in there and so that's in there now and nailed up on the back it has like this weird tar paper i think we'll leave it because it's pretty sturdy um but that's where the mirror was for the vanity. And now I can't find the before picture. There Sorry, was a little bit of plywood here too that had peeled off. It it just when I pulled the sides off, you can see where it was nailed in and it chunked off. And so this is bondoed up here as well. Pretty nice and flat. Not a big, not a big issue, especially since we're painting them. Um, but now we've got two really great nightstands. And for this style, these are pretty tall. So it helps with like more modern beds. You either have like almost down on the floor beds right now or really tall beds are popular. So, you know, they work They work for both. All right, and I'm still like, there's the thrift hall. There's the, like it should be <laughs> right still looking in, oh, for there the, it is, found it. She's still looking for the picture where we okay. got it on the side and of the we, road. I felt bad because I didn't want to get rid of the mirror. And we actually found a local furniture finisher. She posted she needed a mirror and she's actually going to use the mirror on her vanity. So it's not going to waste. Here is what this looked like before. You can see my skinny little chicken legs <laughs> in the reflection, but that's what this looked like before. And the mirror here, I saw a local refinisher put out a PSA. Hey, I need a mirror. They're super expensive to have cut. So she's actually picking that up today. And we're going to get started. Did you know that this, knob is crooked uh i just noticed it i, I wonder can... if we can fix that or should we take them off um let me look i don't want to paint it in place if it's crooked um they can come off but that's gonna be the nice thing about this vanity is that it's got this finished edge on both it. sides sometimes when you cut them you lose the trim but these actually have it and then zeb kind of tried to make the bondo match on the back here so he did some good bondo magic so we are going to paint these with the drawers in reason being is because the drawers sit down flush and sometimes they push back farther especially on these old ones the way they get more wear and so we'll push this in and and paint it and then we'll we'll come back through and sand off all the edges and clean that up when we're done that way we have like nice good coverage and there's not like gaps that aren't painted and looking weird and just wood all right jamie already mixed up the salt wash we've been using it pretty much every video because you know it's amazing so i'm just gonna i got my cling on this is the r20 this is also oh, the one that the really dog's weird. got <laughs> if you guys real quickly to, sorry to interrupt that but no, we, we get to ask this every video so i'm gonna tell you now if you want to get the paint and products they are at jamierayvintage.com. Um, I'll have Caitlin drop a link in the comments. Um, so that way you guys have a link to the website, but jamierayvintage.com for all the paint, the brushes, and the salt wash. So Zeb, you're using so, Hey Sailor. So salt wash is a mixture that's designed to go in paint, if you don't know, and thicken it up and give it some really good texture without changing the color. And it also helps it bond. The DIY paint in Hey Sailor is the color we're using today for the base color here. And then it looks like Jamie's got a bunch of milk paint over there that she's gonna mix up. So you, do you just want me to hit the edges here or do you want me to go full coverage? Um, Do what you need. All right. I don't know. Um, don't forget to stipple every now and then so it's not looking brush strokey. I feel like that'll cover up some of the imperfections that we had to fix with Bondo. 
So in true Waste Not Wednesday fashion, we're using all leftovers. I had about half of a sample of Hey Sailor that I mixed with salt wash. And then I'm mixing up Oh Olive, some Ocean, which Ocean is the color of the dresser that we are putting up Friday. That one's almost finished. We're trying to get all of our filming done by Wednesday. So we have a couple days every week to focus on church construction. We have not been picked up by a network, so we're going to get started uh, they, renovating. They don't have anything in writing, and they actually, the deadline per our contract was to be in negotiations with some sort of written offer by end of January. And we've, I feel like we've been more than lenient. It's like the 20, is it the 22nd today? Yeah, it's almost. And it's snowing, February. which is the perfect time so to we, start So we told them, hey, we got to get started. And the production company we're working with was like, please don't let us hold you up. We want you to, we don't want to be like a detriment because we're like, hey, we've made four mortgage payments on this thing and haven't even touched it. Yeah, we've got to get going there. All right, so I've got a little bit of ocean, a little bit of flower sack, a little bit of pantry door, and a little bit of oh, olive. I can now throw away these four bags of partially used milk paint. All right, so that's the front on that one. I'm going to do the front on this one, then I'm going to do the sides. That way maybe we can get these fronts dry and at least show you that Careful, much. Careful, don't knock over my it's milk It's always, uh, always an issue trying to get a completed project in an hour for you guys. So I'm just adding a little bit of warm water and mixing up each color. I'm just gonna use a fork because it's just a teeny little bit of milk paint. So this will mix it up pretty good. Can you guys even see? One me... part milk paint to one part warm water, let it sit and thicken up. Let me bring you in close so you can see what I'm doing here. You can kind of see the texture. Oh, come on camera, work with me today. There we go. If you want a darker navy, all you have to do is add black to Hey Sailor because I get asked that a lot. So right here, you can especially see the texture on there. Oh, it's blurry. You're going to have to just don't oh, point, blurry. just tap the no, screen. No pointing, just tapping. Okay. Yep. All right. I'll back, to, I'll back to you. Tell them about your darker right. colors again. So I've got Oh Olive, Pantry Door. I'm now going to mix up Ocean, which is the same as Farmhouse Finishes Sea Green, which is going to go on a whole dresser. Um, for Friday's video. So I'm super excited. It's hard for me because the dresser is almost finished, but I'm not going to share the fully finished picture of the dresser for the video on Friday until we put the video up. So I think we'll wind up putting the video up earlier in the day on Friday since it's already done. And then I'll put a post up the same time so you guys can see. So the production company is still working on getting a show for us of some sort with a few different um, networks, but they just asked us if we could film it so that if we need to, we have like documentation and show like all the, all the oh, I stuff. And let's say we get picked up like halfway through the project. We have footage of it so we can show the whole story. I might have to see if I have any more white somewhere because I put way too much water in that one. So this is just a sample, probably uh, about, I would say about half of a sample. Uh, maybe two thirds of a sample and mixed up with the equal parts salt wash. And I should be able to get pretty close to full coverage on all of these. I might have to mix up a little bit for the sides. I don't have any more white, but I'm going to mix up some just peachy with the flower sacks. We're going to have a peachy color too. It's going to be good. Now I'm not putting this on super thick. I just want like textured brush strokes and every now and then a pop of texture because we don't, we want to, what we're doing here is we're mimicking the, uh, the effect of maybe like 10 paint jobs in one coat. Oops, so now it's a little thick. I'm like struggling here. Cause, cause each paint job you do, the paint gets a little thicker and it gets gloopy in areas and. All right. So I'll let you show off these colors okay. um, when you're done and I can do this side. So you don't have to come around here. You got that side. Yeah. Okay. And we'll grab the heat gun. All right. I just wanted to get the fronts done so that we can get, I haven't done the tops yet either. Okay. That's Oh, fine. let's see if I can guess all these names. I wasn't listening. So Oh Olive here. And this, is this pantry door or Sweetie Jane? I don't know. Let me see. It's pantry door. Pantry door. They're really close. Sweetie Jane's a little bluer. And then is this ocean? I don't know. <laughs> oh no. This is, looks like the green that we used on that. No, What's that's, it? that's sea green and ocean sea. is the same color. So sea green, sea green is the farmhouse finishes color. Okay. And then ocean is the sweet pickings. It looks really one. dark in the cup, but, and it, it is kind of like a darker green, but it's not quite foresty green. And then is this peachy? 
What? Is this peachy? Yeah, and some flour sack. And some flour sack. So peachy and flour sack mix. I feel like I'm doing pretty good for not paying attention. <laughs> I, keeping I, track of all of the uh, the names, hundreds of names of, paint. of all the different paint paint lines is is pretty fun sometimes. I'm like, that's blue, that's pink. <laughs> we might need to mix up more salt wash. No, I've got plenty. You got plenty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So while she's doing that, want to grab the heat gun? Heat gun, it is right here. You can already see over here. Let me see if I can. I'm on the swiveling one, so it's kind of a struggle here today. All right, so mm -hmm. so you can see right here, this is already starting to dry a little bit. Because okay. while it is snowing outside at about 30 degrees, ah, it's probably closer to 28 right now. Um, Jamie's got the heater cranking in here. <laughs> because it's cold out there. Does anybody else do that? Like when it's it's really cold outside and you can physically see the snow falling? It you makes you colder. Do you crank your heater up because you feel cold? It is nice to come in after working outside and have the house be super toasty. And if you only like like single coat finishes, then just take Hay Sailor, brush it on and seal it. Done. <laughs> yeah. That would make a pretty boring video. And we like to have fun here. So we like to mix colors. Do you want to tell them the funny story that happened with these vanities? Um, so we were driving by because someone, a friend of ours actually told us, hey, these are free on the side of the road and told us the street they were on. And we were in our SUV and there were two big vanities. The other one is much larger than this one was. So we, we went by, found them. They still had the free signs on them, just sitting out on the, on the, almost on the sidewalk. Like six hours yard. later, we went to get them. They've been there all day. Yeah, they've been there a long time. And Jamie's like, okay, we, we just live down the street from here. So she grabbed a drawer out of each of them and so that no one else would take them while we ran and got the truck. And we were back in about five minutes. And the guy that was giving them away for free was pretty upset that we had taken the drawers. He's like, someone else came by to get these. Um, and they weren't here. I'm like, well, you're giving them away for free. The point is that we're taking them, right? Like he's I was like, technically he here was first. So mad. He's like, I just, I can't believe. Like he acted like we had, like done an atrocity. Like, I just we can't really, believe we really cheated the system. That I'm you like, guys took those drawers. Like I just can't believe it. And I'm in my mind. I'm thinking, if we didn't come back, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, we were gone five minutes. Came back, put the drawers in. I'm like, listen, I don't want to fight you about it. Yeah, we like, offered to give them back. I'm like, here's the drawers if you don't want it. He's like, no, just take it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, if you want, we'll put the drawers back and you can give them to him. But in our minds, we're like, that's picking one on one. You see a couch on the side of the road, you take a cushion and then you come back with your truck. <laughs> yeah, that's. It's like standard issue. And it just really made me feel bad because I try to be kind and nice. So that's why I feel like I did a good deed when I uh, passed along the mirror to another furniture flipper. So. so you can see the difference in the color. If you wanted this to be like just this color matte, don't seal it. Just leave it like this. The, the clay paint, it's, uh, the DIY paint is clay based and it will harden up. You don't, it's still really pigmented. So if you go to like wet wipe it, if you don't seal it, it, uh, it will, you'll get pigment on your rag and it'll, it'll fade over time. But if you want this light blue, like say you're painting something like small decor, you don't have to seal it. There's no rule that says you have to seal this paint. Just don't get it wet or scrub it and it will cure over time and get hard. Is that what you already said? Uh, I don't know if I finished my sentence. I got distracted. I'm still thinking about that old guy now. He was so upset. <laughs> I was like, did we do something wrong? I like did. He like walked away. He's like, I just can't believe you do that. Like, and I was like, after he left, he told us to take him. I'm like, Zeb, hurry, hurry. It was so awkward. And we didn't even take time to like unscrew the mirrors. We just loaded them up and left. It was a very awkward situation. And we tried to make the best like, of it. I'm like, sorry, but... I took your four free vanities off your, off your grass. And I was like, they've literally been sitting here all day. So if somebody wanted them, they had all day to get them. I don't know whatever. And you know what I told Deb? I said, maybe somebody called, asked if they were still there. He didn't bother to look outside to see if the, you know, he didn't know the drawer was missing and they came to pick it up and it was gone. Like, I guess. Well, that would... And for, for five minutes, he probably felt like he was really slighted. Like someone had just punked him and took the drawers. Yeah. He probably thought somebody had we only him. took one drawer. We didn't take all the drawers. 
just took enough to like so we're like eh, lay claim sorry sorry to freak you out for five minutes we're taking a mo i'm like next time i guess i'll knock on the door and be like hey i'm gonna come back i'm taking the drawers but with covid and stuff you don't know do people want you knocking on their doors they might get mad about that so i don't know i'm doing my best first come first serve cynthia says it's a smart tip well take the tip at your own risk because not everybody follows the same pick and rules. What service do you use to ship furniture? Um, we just have a shipper. I know there's some people that like use U ship. We used U ship a couple times, and then but now we, we found, have our own driver. Then we found our own guy. We keep them pretty busy, and I know other a few other um, people use him. So. I'm just looking to see if there's anything. I'm just going to get these warm a little bit here. Okay, it's fine. I'm just looking to see if there's any other comments. If you asked a comment and, and I missed over. it, like a question, go ahead and ask again. You Jane watching? says people get mad over everything. True. I always yeah. like, we were totally nice. You know, some people might get argumentative, but that is definitely like. I was like, here, I have the drawers in the truck. You yeah, we, <laughs> even though it shook us a little bit, just because he was, I'm not kidding. He's I haven't really, had somebody that mad really at me in combative. a long time. He's really combative about it. And we don't really. We don't, we don't. We engage. try to be nice and polite to people, you know, common courtesy. So we don't really have confrontations throughout the day. I'm like, I don't have any skill. How do I, this is like so. <laughs> you don't, don't have coping skills. for. I don't have people. coping skills. I'm like, how do you deal with pissing someone off like that? Cause that doesn't generally happen to me. And I don't do, Zeb does much better with awkward situations. He worked at discount tire and. There are some people that just couldn't be helped. Not People are not excited when they have to buy tires, so they kind of get... Especially when they find out that it's like $1,200 for their big SUV, and they were wanting to spend $500. Yeah. Zeb's favorite line was, guy, these husbands would come in and say, well, I don't really need that good of tires because it's just my wife driving the kids around town. And Zeb would be like... I would, I would, I would have to... Str I struggled to not roll my eyes because, you know... The, the least expensive tire is still safer than bald tires, but a lot of times, it, or, or they'd be like, hey, this is just my new teenage driver. This is an extra car for us. She's just going to be driving it to school and back. I'm like, you realize most accidents happen within five miles of the house, and your least experienced driver is now on the worst tires in the family. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the other thing too is like, that's be what's between you and the road. And a lot of people think, oh, it's their car. I, I broke it down a little bit differently than that, you know, cause that's kind of, that's kind of hardcore. Some people are just like struggling to get tires. So you get, you just got to help them where you can. And I actually working for discount tires, pretty great. I had the autonomy to, uh, if I felt like they really needed it to give people free tires. If they, if they came in and their tires were like showing still belts, this doesn't happen at every discount tire, so don't go into a discount tire quoting me. But every probably about every once every six months, someone would come in. They'd need a flat repair, and they'd have steel belts showing on the insides of their tires or something because they also needed alignment. I'd be like, "Hey, what do you got? What can you do? Where can we meet? And uh, you know, I'll help you out. I'll help you get safe." All right, I'm gonna go grab. I'm um, sorry, some extra brushes. I don't know. How did we get started talking about tires? <laughs> I don't know. Because I said you were good at dealing with awkward people. You know, it's people. almost been in April. It will have been seven years. Oh, Zeb, you missed all the sides. All you did was the front. I told you. I'm just doing the front so they can see what they look like from the front. <laughs> I, like, already have my brush in water. Uh, sorry. Don't put the brush in the water. <laughs> I'm going to get the base coat on, I guess, and try to make some more salt wash. I told you we're probably going to need more because... You know, they look like they're not very big, right? Two drawers, but they've got this side and this side and the top and that side. It's probably almost about like painting a dresser. I, I'm going to see what I can salvage out of the bottom here. I just forget <laughs> that you're not as fast at painting. Well, I went right to heat gunning. I know. So that we could get this front dry and show them what the finishes are going to look like. It's all right. I, I got you, boo. The good news is it doesn't have to be. Perfect. And the bat, the also the good news is there's still a lot of paint left on my brush. Is there anywhere else that we've missed before I dip this back in there? Talk about scraping the bottom of the barrel here.
All right. Okay, I think we're ready for paint on the front, and I can keep. All right, I got it. You did miss a big spot right here. Do you care about that? No, I, I didn't do like lots of spots. Okay, so you let, you didn't go full coverage on no, the No, I don't want perfection. Well, we do have four paint colors over here that we're getting ready to use. It's good that I don't want perfection because I don't think I, I got All that. All right, I think we're almost done watching this paint dry. I'm going to keep going on the sides if you want to start doing your magic on the front. Okay. Oh, you missed one of these legs back here. I'll get it's it. It's fine. The legs can get covered in something else. Mm. Zeb's just a good dude, period. Don't go expecting free tires anywhere. Yeah, it's true. It's healthy to vent to friends. <laughs> it's healthy. To it's all right. It was just, I just thought it was a fun, <laughs> mostly I thought it was a funny story. Zeb handles it much better than me. I try not to, people think I'm hardcore, but really I'm not. I put on a hardcore per persona. All right, I'm going to sit right uh, here. What paint you colors are you going with? I'm going to move the camera. So I just need you the heat gun. You just need me to keep drying them? Yeah, you keep drying, and I will get going on the paint. So I'm thinking I want to go So this lighter. is all milk paint. We did the DIY. We love using the DIY with it's the salt cheap. wash because it's all the DIY paint's already thick. You combine it with the salt wash, and that clay-based paint just, it's like, yeah. it's like glue on there. It's so good. So pro tip, if you are, it says use one-to-one -one ratio salt wash to paint. If you are using DIY paint to salt wash, you do not need a one-to-one -one ratio, or you will make thick mud you could probably make a you could probably take and make like a mug out of it <laughs> if you do one-to-one -one with salt Use with it in your diy molds. paint so okay i've watered down the just peachy with that has a little bit of flour sack in it just because i kind of want to wash and i'm going to come in with this on the fronts here deb you're gonna have to remember the uh just peachy the order in which i paint these because you're going to have to do the rest. Got to do the sides. Yeah. Just peachy is a good one. This is a color that, for whatever reason, I feel like I see on lots of furniture. I'm going to see. I'm going to try to bring them in a little closer. Okay. So they're not just watching me heat gun over well, here. Well, once I get this done, I'll heat gun it. We'll zoom so in just a little bit. One. All right. They got your arm and the, the nightstand. So when you move over to this one, let me know and I'll move the okay. camera. Can you get me the heat gun? Oh, you need the heat gun now? Yeah, do you want to paint that one? Oh, we have two heat guns. Yeah, but I that one needs the front painted, so if oh. you want to. Yes. So messy, messy, messy. Don't when you're gonna distress or bring colors through, um, you don't need to worry about painting me. Like seriously, don't don't sweat it. There's one thing that you can take away from today, especially if you're a perfectionist or like things nice and tidy and in order, is slap the paint on there. Slap it on. I'm going to try to be careful because it is getting chippy. And I don't mind chippy, but I don't want it to be like. So this is a mixture of. Just peachy. Uh, just peachy and. Flower, flower sack. sack. But it's mostly just peachy. I would say it's like four to one. It really toned it back, though. It made it almost like a cream color. It's almost like a, a pink flesh tone. Yeah. I mean, there's many flesh tones, but this is a pink, pink one. It's like the Crayola box. Yeah. No, they've changed. They've updated the Crayola box yeah, to be more finally, realistic. Yeah, about time. I got so excited when I saw the uh, the flesh tone Crayola box. It had like 60 crayons in there down at the Target. I was like, look at that. It's about time. <laughs> Let's get to it. Jack, you can't come in here, buddy. We got two sick kids home today. All right, I'm oh, going to do... We, that's a story I could tell. No, maybe don't tell I don't want to tell it. It's gross. Nobody wants to know. Maybe later when I think I'm just going to mix the pantry door and the old olive. We don't really need four different shades, but we do need enough to cover it. All right, so... Oh, you're not even going to wait for it to dry much. Well, I'm just some blending. I'm just kind of coming on here and doing my thing. All right, so you're outlining. Yeah, if you guys are in a channel membership or in a subscriber on Facebook, know that yesterday was definitely a struggle with that piece we were working on, and I might be painting over it. I I like the way it looks. Jamie's like, wow, that's a lot of bright for me. We used the Bohemian bright. Should I show them? 
Yeah, you can show them when so, it turns into Channel it. members got to watch this. Oh, it's out on the front porch. But that's part of the creative process, right? Like, yeah. Okay. All right. So if you're a channel member or you're subscribed on Facebook to the, uh, the subscription group, you got to watch us do this yesterday. Well, it was a two-parter video. So this is our oh, day. You're going to knock over my BG. I'm not touching it. You're, I watch. Oh, you're not, the legs are touching it. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is our, uh, our decoupage, one of our decoupage papers. And then we use the Bohemian brights to kind of color them in and leave it a little bit black. And then we did a similar salt wash treatment that's going on on these on the base here and got this really cool effect on the sides. But Jamie is like, you know what? The gray with the white wax and the Bohemian blue does not match this really bright top. So we might redo this. Something's got to go. So I'll figure it Especially out. Especially since this piece is getting donated to the high school baseball team for a raffle. <laughs> it looks okay. That's just not what I envisioned. So the thing is, it's sometimes you just step away from a piece and then you come back to it and then you get inspired. I think it looks fine. But Jamie doesn't like the cohesion of the base with the top. Let's be honest. Seb's less picky than I am. That's true. It's very true. <laughs> it's not that you're right and I'm wrong. It has nothing to it's do with Zeb is very good about time management. And he's like, we've already spent more time than we allotted on this. So you're done. <laughs> that happens, I would say, about 95% of the videos we make. I'm like, well, if I had more time, I might add this. Every now and then I'm 100% satisfied. But I feel like that's part of being an artist is you're always looking for like room to grow. All right. Let me my heat gun this real quick so I can try to mimic what she's got going on over Jane there. Jane says, I'm a redhead. My skin tone is white, white, white. I, I have some pale daughters, so I get that. Yeah, it's okay. I think I'm going to distress the bottom some more, distress the top some more. I just feel like it's a little bit disjointed. All right, so I'm going to come back in with some warm water. Now, and a wrap. remember that this is, this is still a little wet that yeah. she's dealing with over here on this And side. I'm going to try to bring back some of that blue before we get to the next coat. Sometimes you got to distress in layers to get the look that you want. All right, I think I'm about as dry as Jamie was when she put. All right, here's the green mixture. Put her second coat of milk paint on. Hope we have enough. Actually, do you know what? Yeah, that's fine. I was going to say we probably should just put peachy on the rest, but it's all still pretty wet, so I don't want to do that. Oh, you got one of your hairs in there, oh, too. That texture. Happens. Added texture. I put my blood, sweat, tear, and hair in just about every piece I do. DNA. Can't, okay, there's a little chip right there just from removing my hair. Thank you, hair. Are we blocking? Oh, uh, they can see what we're doing. I'm trying to work at arm's length here. So. Your, your arms are much, you know, it's funny. We'll be working and Zeb's like, you got to work at arm's length. I'm like, sweetie, my arm's length, your arm's length. We call them her T. Two, we call them her T Rex arms. Two very <laughs> different stories. I'm gonna just pull the drawers out. When and... we're moving furniture, I'm like, I need you to reach underneath with your T Rex arms and really grab it from the bottom. <laughs> I think in the next life, I'm gonna ask God to just be like, could you give him like just a minute where he's only as strong as me, and then make him do all the tasks that he made me do <laughs> while we were on Earth? <laughs> could you do that for me? <laughs> you only had to carry a few beans and things. And all your bat children. Oh my gosh, all of our kids were 20 pounds by six months. Harrington was 20 pounds by four months. And most of them like were 26 at a year. And then Eliza and Jack were a solid 28 at a year. <laughs> I'm like, I should have thought about this when I married a giant human. But I guess that made me strong, right? Okay, so I'm getting there with this. All right, I think, I think of about, you might, I think you put yours on a little thicker than I did. Mm-hmm. No, I, I don't think so. Maybe you'll just have to distress less. It's fine. 
the idea is there, right? The the green by the concept is there. Okay. And some of the art, you guys, happens in the distressing. On the piece I was working with that we're making the video on Friday, um, I come in and a lot of our pieces and hand sand the entire piece after we wax, which is kind of a weird concept. But I hand sand it to smooth it out and really polish the clay in the milk. And so that finishes the look and makes it look less disjointed. Um, is the C over there? What is that called? Sea green. Sea green. Sea green coming at you. Sea green coming at you. Okay. I'm going to look at comments for a second. Okay. So sea green is this color here, guys. I'm going to have to use the peachy brush because I don't feel like washing another brush. KJV Babble says, haha, I'm known in my house as ape arms. They are longer than my husband's. Well, that's handy. You sh did you swim in high school? Because that would have been solid. So Lisa on Facebook asks, uh, I would like to know how to repurpose wooden trays or silver trays to have them food safe. Um, um, would like to use as party trays. Any help would be great. So I, Lisa, this milk paint that we're using is bio certified food safe. And then we also have a uh, hemp oil from Sweet Pickens that we use that you can but use I don't to think seal you it with. Paint silver with that. So I'm really not sure. You how might, you, do that. you might, I don't know. It's maybe we'll try it out and we'll we'll experiment for you. Well, you try it out. And you let us know. <laughs> I don't paint silver, so I'm like not the one to ask. But I I think that there there's probably some out there. Can you? Oh, Anita Gonzalez, we got a new channel member. Oh, welcome, Anita. Be sure to check out community. You can watch me struggle on yesterday's video. Um, I have peachy on this, so this is also mixing that into this color that I'm putting on here. This one I'm doing more of a solid coat because it's like my last one, and I'm going a crosshatch pattern to add some texture. Christine on Facebook says that she likes that little table as is. Um, yeah, Jamie is a little more attached to the outcome because she uh, she wants she she wants it. You know, it's. It's a uh, it's got my name attached example of her work, so she wants it to be good for this donation. And it's not bad. I like it. It's blended well, but it is it is a kind of contrasty with the the, the salt washed bottom and distressed bottom, and then the uh, the top being really bright floral. All right, so I've got this going here. All right, I think I like the coverage on that. Christine says that she also loves watching this process. She has perfectionistic tendencies, so she'd have a hard time doing this type of finish. I would get lost not having the lines to stay within. This is definitely a color outside the lines finish, which Jamie did on me yesterday when we were painting these flowers. She painted outside the lines on the flowers. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? <laughs> I think I was over it because I was already hating the, like the top is good. The bottom is good. The combo is, is kind of a mess. All right. So you went, mine's not quite dry. I was watching. Do you want to go comments. grab one of the new heat guns and heat gun yeah. the rest of the salt we'll wash? If, we'll instead of, my, uh... instead of continuing this while we finish to get the salt wash all the way dry so we can get all the peachy on there. Okay. And I'll keep working on this finish here. I'm going to kind of go further away because I really don't want it to be like, ridiculously chippy so my hope is that this is the last paint coat yeah so that's why there's more full coverage on it you can use a heat gun when you're at home but you don't have to sometimes i do to try to like get it to chip the funny thing is is that this sea green color on here doesn't look anything like the sea green on the other piece because of all the different layers sometimes the layers you use will change the color kai said that rethinking a piece is okay kai said i'm yeah. glad i have permission <laughs> sometimes you have to you just gotta like stand back and be like all right that's not what i wanted it to be even though it looks okay i want it to be this and you gotta go yeah. back and change it Okay, let's see. And if sometimes it's okay to electrical... completely repaint something too. So <laughs> yeah, just just completely start over. We've done it lots. Let's see if my electrical can handle uh, two heat guns. Let's see how the we'll island is. Out. I wired it intentionally to handle it. All right, no lights dimming, no pop breakers. We're good to go. 
This is a this Genesis heat gun we got on Amazon. This is a dual it's a cheap one. It's blowing hard. It's like a blow dryer. Can you guys hear that? Hopefully that's not too loud. It gets up to a thousand degrees on this one. All right, I'm gonna let that air dry for a minute because I'm a little concerned about it over chipping. I gotta be careful with this. Thousand degrees seems a little intense. All right, I'm just gonna wipe off some of the wet spots. Let's see what happens here. This is part of the distressing. pull this door out. Sally says that these are going to be pretty cute. Well, I hope so, Sally. It's always a goal. It's hard because this is really not my favorite style of furniture. So I'm trying not to like, I don't know, do you ever like not like the style of a piece of furniture and then it kind of makes you not really into the project? The waterfall style? Yeah, I don't like waterfall furniture not my it's not my bag but I'm trying not to be prejudiced against the waterfall Christine a lot of these techniques are learned by trial and error you know just picking up the brush and trying something out and we always recommend if you're doing a new style or a new finish for your very first time and you're not sure how it's going to be or if or how much paint it's going to take to try it out on a small piece like decor or like a jewelry box or something like that. Try your finish out on something small. It'll take less time and you'll get more comfortable with the finish and what it's going to do and how the paints are going to react with each other and dry and and chip and all that sort of stuff. Well, if and I then had, you can move on to like a big dresser or something if you're if you're nervous about it. you don't have a lot of time invested in like a like a little jewelry box or even like a single nightstand or something. If I had a dollar for every time I got an email from somebody, I ruined a family heirloom. It was, it was the first time I've ever painted, and I'm like, bold choice for your first time. <laughs> but or they're not sure how. I I love it when people will message me before they do the finish because I'm like, then I will recommend always, always, always try it on a sample board although i mean the hard the tricky thing with milk paint is it's going to react different depending on what you're using it on you know i think the waterfall carolyn i think the waterfall era is from like the 20s 30s and it runs some some styles run all the In way the up 70s. to like mid-century and, and later yeah um there's a couple questions here Let's see, Kelly asked, when using white wax, do you wipe it back with a wet or dry cloth? Depends. We use a dry cloth. If you want to wipe most of it back, use a wet cloth because that'll really get down in, for whatever reason, your wet cloth um, gets down in the details more. But if you don't want to wipe it all back and you want it to sit down in the details um, quite heavily, then use a dry. The problem with using a damp rag is you just got to know if it's if it's like milk paint that you could reactivate the milk paint. It's not a problem, but just need to know that it could start chipping on you. So be prepared for that. Anytime you get milk paint wet, you're inviting Chippy to come. You're so, inviting it in. So Laura asked an important question here. As a new Facebook membership, um, is there another Facebook group? I don't see a community button. Sign up yesterday. Thank you. Um, so added. right at the very top of our Facebook page, it'll say subscriber group, and you can just click that and it'll take you to the group because it's a separate group that we manage. Yeah. And there are already videos in there and a few posts and some printables from last month. And I'm going to add some more printables this month. And um, it will automatically on Facebook, it automatically adds you to that group once you pay to join. Yep. And it's called JRV subscribers, right? Yeah. So, but you can't see the group or whatever until you have joined. All right, I actually like that look. I'm gonna let it dry. So Sherry, the waterfall dresser is, or, or furniture style, it's got like this curved front is what denotes the waterfall. So I'm gonna show you the front where we're at now. 
It needs some more work, obviously, but I like the layer on it, layers, so to speak. And so I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to move over to this piece because I need. So after I did the green, Zeb, I did a little wet distressing, didn't I? And then I finished with the sea salt. Oh, you might have to do that. I haven't been watching what you were doing. I've been drying over here. It's all right. I got this. All right, I'm going to leave this alone and let it air dry the rest away, and then I'll sand it some. Christine, the subscriber membership on Facebook, I believe, is $4.99. But just know that depending on your state's local fees and taxes for online services, it may be a little bit more. It can go up to like 8 or $9, I think. So just when you're signing up, just check for that. But it, we have it set for $4.99 or $4.95 Sorry. or $99 or something like that. It's like 5 bucks. And if you're out of the country, I honestly don't know because that varies widely too, depending on your currency. Facebook takes care of all the laws and stuff, so we don't have to. We pay them a portion of it, but it also, they handle all the, the billing and stuff. All right, I'm going to heat gun this so I can get to the next step. All right, what next step are you doing? Right now, they just have a close-up view of that of you heat gunning. Oh, um, I'm going to put the sea green on here or the ocean milk paint. So we get asked a lot, what's the difference between milk paint and farmhouse finishes? Farmhouse finishes does not chip as much or crack as much. It has a built-in bond, but it can. If you get it wet, it can crack and chip. It's pretty much unlikely to do so over milk paint. All the colors we use today on this, other than the Hay Sailor, were Sweet Pickens milk paint. So we are going to get some chipping in our piece. Oh, Leslie says she's going to join business coaching on 3-1. Yeah, if you guys don't know, we do what we, it's called creative business coaching, and that's done through our website. Um, well, we run the group on Facebook, but yeah. you pay for it through our website. Yeah, so, and that's that's a lot of fun. We, we've got typically anywhere from 80 to 100 members in there, and uh, and we just basically every once a week we talk we go live and we talk about how we run our business um and how we've grown it over the stuff years. that would be things that we don't put on our normal stuff because it's boring it's very behind well the not scenes. boring but like boring to those that don't do what we do okay i'm gonna let that dry i'm gonna move you all over here just a little bit to this piece we are going to get to sanding. So we paint with the drawers in. Deb gave you that. But what we do, like when I'm all done and not on camera, I'm going to pull the drawers out and sand all the edges. So that way We feel it's like not it's faster sticking. than taping off or trying to paint neat. Yeah. And it makes sure that uh, the edges, like if it slides in a little far, that there's paint there. Jed and Kate, yes, we do still talk to Sasha from Sweet Pickens. We're, we're pretty good friends still. Uh, yeah, all the time. I text her probably once a week with questions. She doesn't paint much anymore because she's been busy growing her business, but I think she's about to get started. She's got her barn going. I think she agreed not to paint in her house when they got that new house, and so she's been waiting. All right, sorry, guys. I got to pull this out. So sanding is also going to change the color of your paint. It's going to bring out highs and lows. So keep that in mind. If you guys want to see it, Caitlin dropped the link for creative business coaching. And we, we really just talk about like how we started flipping furniture and like stuff we do for thrifting and things like that. And expand on that on the back end, like what we do with the website. And, oh, excuse me. And our social media platform. Disclosure, we're like not that. like trained business coaches, okay? We just share what we know. 
I feel like we're we're uh, trained by experience, though. Like yeah. we we're, we got almost seven years of both Jamie and I doing this full time um, under our belt. So we don't feed you what you want to hear either. So yeah, it's not always a feel good story. Sometimes it's hey, get off your butt and get to work. <laughs> All right, so this is where we're headed here. This actually has most of the main color. I might come back and distress it, but I want to let it dry a little bit more. So I might wipe distress it to bring back the layers. But you can, in real life, see the peach and the green and the navy coming through. All right. That's going to go back in in a second. I actually think I like this heat gun better than that Wagner one. Really? It blows we'll hard and it's hot. We'll see if it. We'll see uh, how long it lasts to range. like falling and getting dropped because the Wagner has been dropped probably about a hundred times. Yeah. And the heating elements in these heat guns break. Tools have to be really, really sturdy to survive me. All right, I think I've got that pretty well done so that we can get another coat on the back. Okay, the so sides. I would say do peach. Yeah sparingly a ton and then like do peach around the edges and then do the green in the middle do we have another brush um you if you rinse out that uh salt wash brush there that would work okay. seb's not used to rinsing brushes that's usually my department I usually i usually bail and go edit a video <laughs> or yes he's always doing something it's always good. To on the stuff. menu today is catch up on all of the custom woodworking orders. Yeah, I thought I was going to paint yesterday for the thrift haul, but we sold another piece of furniture. And so I needed to get a piece done real quick. And then my shipper called and said, weather's bad. It's going to be another day or so, which is good because I'm not quite finished with it anyways. But uh, yeah, they've been shutting down highways around here and up north of us, too. Yeah. So what I'll do is. Today, when we're done with this live, I will. I got to go to the shop for a little bit, and then I'm gonna. While he's in the garage working on wood stuff, I will do the thrift haul. Here's that one. Show you guys where we're at with that. I think I'm gonna wet distress this a little bit more, but I want to be careful because it's kind of chippy on that one end. I don't want it to all chip off. That would not be fun. All right, I think that's enough. We might be getting a little bit of hay sailor mixed in. I think I got I got it good enough. All right, I'm gonna put these drawers down while I finish this. And then these drawers are gonna be ready for clear wax and then some white wax. I think. I think, I don't know. We'll see. Robert says it's looking great. Thanks, Robert. Going back through to see if I missed anything. All right, that's good. Looks like there was a serious debate about collagen and hair. Collagen? <laughs> or maybe not a debate, just advice. A question? Yeah. Were they talking about all my hair? <laughs> no, I think some of it's genetics, peeps. But I do. Mary Mary Kohler says she talked with a trained business coach and she wanted five thousand dollars for a once a week call for three months, and she didn't. Uh, even seem to understand what I do. So, oh yeah. Well, Mary, we only talk about what we know about. <laughs> so true. So that. if you want to get into flipping furniture, we know a lot about that. But and, and thrifting and smalls and running the back end. Where's of it. the clear wax? Do we put that up? But our knowledge also stems off of using media like for growing your business, video content, and selling online. So we do help you with like how to stage your booth and sell in your booth and stuff like that but we the bulk of our business is online all right yeah. so i'm coming in with clear wax now it's dry on this and then after the clear wax i'll probably do some white wax and some buffing and then this look is going to be done Okay, so I don't know if you guys can really see what I'm doing over here, but I'm just kind of outlining the sides because Jamie just outlined with this uh, peachy. Well, actually, I painted the whole thing. However, um, we're running low. 
on peachy. Do. Don't forget to do the inside of the legs with the sea green because I missed some of the insides. I'll, I'll get them with some peachy too. Okay. We'll get them a couple layers. So clear wax on this. And now I'm going to go grab my white wax. This is just beeswax. Like I said, we've been going through this tub of beeswax for a while because we had it left over from craft kits. So the good news is my craft cabinet is fairly organized because we just sold the other cabinet. And so I reorganized this one. We get asked a lot if we get paint on our floor. We do. Yep. <laughs> All the time. All the time. We clean it off. The milk paint doesn't come off as easy. Okay, so I'm white waxing the whole thing. And I'm going to rub it back. Because I've already clear waxed it, it's going to give me some control. And if you white back right away, then it doesn't get as crazy. And I don't white wax every piece. It just depends on... Oh, one of these is missing a foot. You see the wobble on that? Off oh, the, on the bottom? Off, they're like those pin feet things, that like the metal pins. Yeah. Do I have I'll another... Have some of those. I don't want to use that. I'm going to have to use a paper towel because I think we used all of our rags. I usually have leftover parts. So if you if you do projects like this, if you do lots of furniture and you've got like broken pieces that you're not using, save the parts if they've got them. Because sometimes this older hardware is hard to find like like feet for that are just little metal like brads, but they're big. You so, can you can find replacements and there's places that make them, but if you if you've got them and you're just throwing the leg away because it's broken in half or whatever it is, or you just wanted the drawers out of a piece and you're passing it on, you know, keep keep some of the hardware for yourself. So um, this is going to kind of be the finished look of this. Every part of it's going to be slightly different, but if you wipe it back, it's getting a little shiny. But I'll let this sit and then I will buff it. Tomorrow, careful how hard you bust because you will get a sheen. But here you go. I mean, the, it's pretty bright in here, but that is the final look of the paint finish. I think it's pretty good for um, how long we've been live. We still got about eight minutes, so yeah. 52 minutes or so, give yeah. or take. This is like the world's fastest layered chippy look, but it does work. You can do it. I actually thought about painting a bunch of furniture and just throwing it outside. The thing about these finishes in real life, they look a lot different. Anybody that's seen our work in real life, that it's hard to capture the texture on camera. Well, and once we're done with like I'm not gonna do these and sanding, it, they're usually they look rough, but they're usually smooth to the touch. Yeah, I'm not gonna do these with wax yet because I want to do the whole piece. Um, but I guess I can do the other drawer. Well, the other one's getting super chippy. If you have super chippy, do not use, do not try to put the chips back on with a liquid top coat. You will be sad because it will just all come off. All right. Clear wax. This is going to have some wax in the clear wax. But that's okay. And it's okay if one drawer is super chippy and the other drawers aren't because if you ever look at old authentic finishes, that's how they come. They weren't sometimes, wasting any of that paint. They're putting it all on there. Yeah. Sometimes I will uh, come back with black wax after I buff it. So then that might be something that happens to this piece. But not till it dries. And then I'll look at it and make that decision. This also will tone back the areas where it's chipped and make them look worn as opposed to like shiny new finish. And it will get down in all the little crackies. I'll show you an up close of this one here in a minute. Again, the colors will change slightly once I buff it, but there you go. All right. I, I kind of think enough with this color. I might want to come through, even want, though you're not supposed to paint over wax. Do you want me to do more on the top here? I might come through. Actually, you know what I want to do here, Zeb? I want to add some gold on the handles. What do you think? Uh, I think that might some be Some gold good. wax? Gold always looks good with this finish. 
Okay. Are you going to do the... Um, Huh? You gonna do the wax or the gold wax? Because technically you're not supposed to use golden ticket over the top of wax. So you're gonna use the golden rule wax? I'm gonna use the golden rule because it's wax on top of wax. Put this door back in. You guys, sorry, the angle's kind of wonky. What if Here. I just do this? Yeah, I can there we go. Now Here. it's straight on. No, look, I got it. I'm going to pull the can. It's zoomed in a little bit. I'm going to pull it back so I can get the whole thing. Baiting in the kitchen on Wednesday. It kind of makes me want to just go watch TV with the snow going. Yeah, it's hard. We got to. You got to go back out to the garage. The garage is actually warm. It's south facing and yesterday was sunny. And so the garage is pretty warm right now. <laughs> just don't open those garage doors and let that heat out. There you go. Just a little bit of gold. It's just a really soft look and a great way to finish. I might add gold onto here in some of this fluted area, but I'll wait till it's all finished to do that. Okay, let me. And I, if you let this wax dry and then you come back with a little black wax, that also adds some like antique. The Looney says they kind of look like little lockers, kind of, huh? They do look like little lockers. Cindy loves the chippy goodness. Cindy, Cindy P. I think that's vintage Cindy. But Cindy, she changed her name, I think. Did she change it? Mm -hmm. Denise, question. For a more matte look, will the waxy fill go away without buffing or sh buffing it or shining? Uh, buff it soft um, and don't use too much wax. And maybe use DIY wax. The um, beeswax, I feel like you tend to have to buff it a little bit more um, because it takes longer to dry and cure. So... But yeah, just don't over wipe it. I have a piece that we did back there, which is pretty dang matte, and I did buff it. I mean, you have to go to town yeah, if you to buff get it, it to shine. So a couple quick questions here. Lunchbox Lady asked, is the dark and decrepit a dust? Does wet distress blend? Um, I'm confused. There is a decrepit dust, and if you get it wet, it, it's, it's like a powder almost. If you or get like it wet pigment. before it's sealed or waxed, it will spread that around and blend it. I could put decrepit dust on this. might have broke something did you break something <laughs> hopefully they could hear the whole time tell, tell them about the dust again oh so the decrepit dust you just use clear wax or whatever and you can just white wax too but once it's waxed before you buff too much of it off you can put the decrepit dust in there and then buff it in and it gets down in all the nooks and crannies it comes in white and it also comes in brown and it's just a different look like it's similar to white wax and dark wax but it's different because there's some texture involved in the decrepit dust so it's just like a different art finish. And that's the thing that's nice about like all the products we use. There's not one, always one way to get a look. You can try different things and manipulate them. And the more you use them, the better it gets. And Zeb and I spend a significant amount of time studying old, authentically chippy finishes. And then we try to recreate when we that were on in our France, I took a picture of about 200 doors that had like yeah. layers and layers of paint on them. And it just been painted back over. Sorry about that little blip, guys. Look Something happened with the computer, but I think we're back. And it looks more dark blue. It's more of a green in real life. But you guys, like this is, really does look old. Leslie asked if this is a Gustavian finish. I would um, say it borders Gustavian for sure. Maybe by the time it's all done, it will be. So, we'll see. so if we were going to do like a true Gustavian, we probably would have just nixed the salt wash. And or done, done it smoother, more that, like a linen. Yeah, and like finish. a lighter color. Like they're typically lighter, more washed out colors because they didn't have the bright pigments. But, I mean, it just depends. Anita asks, do we wax inside the drawers? Only if they don't run good. If they're, if they're not smooth, running smooth on the runner, we wax them. But if they're smooth, we don't wax the inside. It's just, it's just wood in there that's already sealed up. We didn't paint inside the drawers. All right. So if you want to get these paint and products, we carry them all at jamierayvintage.com. I know a lot of you guys have been 
interested in these paint finishes, I can always tell by the orders and the combination of products ordered, which video people have been watching. So I'm super excited to see you guys recreate this in your own home, on your own pieces to really gather that like authentic old finish. I think we're getting a big chip here. Jennifer Rose says, good <laughs> evening from England in Kent. Oh, and then uh, we're headed to Kent in a few weeks. Yep. And then someone else piped in and said, I'm also from Kent, but I lost their comment because there's like 500 people watching right now. Oh, Bernie Klopper said they're also in Kent. But yeah, we're, we're staying in Kent for a few days when we go to England. That's that's we're going to be hitting Home that, base. that southwest corner. All right, guys. Thanks for watching us for Waste Not Wednesday. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.